Hey Stellars! Welcome back to Tower Dollar. My name is Joyce. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome! So today we'll be reading for our Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And yes, Happy Aries season! Hello Aries, if you're a cross watcher, um, I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. By the way, guys, um, this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with everyone. But if you do love to have a private reading with me, then check out my Etsy shop. The details is on the description box. Yes, and my tower services are very affordable. It's for everyone. And very personal touch, okay? And if you want to purchase a celebrity reading, you can email me your queries. My email address is on the description box as well. Alright, so let's see what's going on. What are signs? Okay, for the month of April 2022, what's going on? Okay, Golden Love Light. The same as, I think, this is the same as the uh, air signs. Yep. They also got this oracle. <laughs> we'll see about that later. What else? Spirit, please give us the message for our water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the month of April. We have sweetness. Okay. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you have this golden love light, adoration, sincerity, and declaration. And we have the sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life. Let the universe take care of the details. Okay. So I have a feeling that your person and you are... I have, I have a feeling that there's a confession of love that's going to happen here. The golden love light is not a... Um, it's not... How can I say? It's not something to do with... Uh, the longevity of your connection with your person okay i feel like this is a fresh beginning for a lot of you pisces cancer scorpio okay because the golden love light appears when you have you know already exited the tunnel <laughs> like the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel kind of a, a picture that i'm talking about here okay but the golden love light here is something very fresh something very new that is happening for the water science and it's actually a confession of adoration with a sincere heart okay and for some of you might be um hesitated to say what's on your mind with this person but this person that you have in mind pisces cancer scorpio oh my gosh water science i feel like it requires a lot of patience for you guys to really tell how much you feel for this person this is this is not someone that you are um seeing or recently um interested in but this is someone that is like a fresh beginning okay that's what i'm seeing here and you're going to confess how much you feel for this person or how much you care for this person okay and yeah you're going to be honest with yourself finally mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels like you are in a you know a very long dark tunnel and then you're able to see the end of the tunnel and then you will see the rainbows and butterflies and the unicorns at the end of the tunnel and that's what's happening that is the golden love light okay and i feel that you are so nervous to tell to finally tell what's on your mind for this person to finally declare how much you adore them okay all right so yeah there's this is something new um if you are dating somebody for quite some time this is not for you but this is for the ones that are just you know uh, probably you are a friend of this person and then you kind of like still adore them you know <laughs> you give them a sweet gesture it feels like that's what's happening okay somebody's going to give someone with a sweet gesture of love 
Okay, so <laughs> why am I shuffling this? Okay, uh, by the way, before I shuffle this one more time, this is my deck. This is my new deck. I authored this deck, Seasons of Love, Taratella Studio. It will be available soon on my Etsy shop. So please follow my Etsy shop and I will announce the launch of this deck on my Twitter. So follow my Twitter and also on Instagram account. Okay, follow me on my social media so that we can be connected. All right, guys. So let's see what's going on with my water signs. All right, let's see. Spirit, please give us the message. What's going on? What sh <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> and so sh 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 these days, I don't know why. It's probably the um, transition of winter to spring. Okay. All right, so awakening, you make me feel so alive again. See, okay. Uh huh. Let's see what the other article is. I hope that you give this finances. We have to sit down and talk about the things we want and need. Okay, so I have a feeling, guys, that you have awakened your heart for someone, and it feels like um. For those of you I am seeing, okay, I'm seeing that there's some that they're seeing someone else or dating someone else, but they don't feel like they are in a relationship. They're kind of like okay with it, but that not that, <laughs> but not entirely happy, not entirely, you know, um, experiencing some bliss. But I feel like this new fresh start, okay, um. A fresh I don't know like a fresh awakening for a lot of you that's what I'm seeing here that's why you kind of like so drawn to this person because they awaken your desire okay so when the desire is right there okay if it's on fire for you then that's the time that you are awakening and I have a feeling that there's a lot of you that has a financial trouble, okay? And finances is a huge factor for you to be with this person. That's what I'm seeing here for a lot of you, okay? So let's go and take a look at your tarot. Alright, so I am... I am giving away some coupons on my SD shop. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me... Okay, my tarot services are very much affordable. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's going on in their thoughts? Your person's thoughts. Water sign Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. All right. Okay. So the thoughts of your person, um, I have a feeling that they want to offer this love for you, okay? They did offer a love for you with a Four of Cups energy. Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and Queen of Cups. They did offer you their cup of love. That's what I'm seeing. When it comes to your person, it feels like there's a refusal here that, that happened. They are... You are stuck in their minds with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here. They're trying to be, you know, they're trying to thrive on their own because they do love you a lot. They see you as somebody that is a, like a trophy or something. You know, that's the Nine of Pentacles that I'm seeing. And it, it feels like you are a package to them in their thoughts, in their mind. And they did. They did offer you the love here. That's the Four of Cups. They are... Actually, they are invested in you because in Nine of Pentacles, I feel like they want to get something for what they have invested in you and they want to bring out the love. Actually, you are on their minds right now. The Queen of Cups is overflowing with love, overflowing with care, compassion. There's so much affection that I'm seeing here. But with the Eight of Swords, it feels like they are not able to do what they really like in this connection because something that is 
there is a hurdle okay i'm seeing a lot of obstacles and probably that's one of the biggest factor here one of the biggest obstacles here in this picture okay i feel like this is about finances and they are trying their best to get into that you know realm of success that's the nine of pentacles and they're doing something they're working hard for this connection to work out that's what's happening here okay i don't know how what are the ways they're doing it but that's on their thoughts okay because they feel like they're stuck in here okay they are stuck in the connection with you and they st they do love you consciously subconsciously whatever you may call it but yeah this is what they're thinking of regarding you okay so let's see what's their emotions or their feelings for you okay please give us the message for pisces cancer scorpio for the month of april how do they feel for my pisces cancer scorpio <laughs> okay oh my god oh my god oh my god and oh my gosh Whew. <laughs> let me just change the camera a little bit i don't know um I feel like I need to raise it up so that you can see the cards better. I don't know if that's that's okay with you guys. I'm sorry, I have to do that <laughs> right now. I don't know how to angle the camera. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, there. I'm satisfied with this. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Ten of Wands, and Death. Okay, the Ten of Cups is definitely they want this with you. They want to have a family with you guys. Oh my god, you know? Um, okay, let me just try again. <laughs> I'm sorry for adjusting the camera so much during the live reading. I mean, while I'm recording this, okay? So, yeah. We have the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Ten of Wands, the Death Card. So the Hermit, you are not talking to each other. They kind of like isolated themselves because they are so burdened with the connection they have with you. And look at that. They are beginning to transition to something something else. Okay? They want a family with you. They definitely want a ten of cups. This is the completion of desire of having a wonderful, harmonious relationship with you. But they kind of like isolate themselves right here with a hermit energy that's the hermit you know they went out of the cold i mean they went out and feeling left out in the cold they are meditating they're not communicating with you there's no connection definitely there's no communication and they feel burdened here and i feel like if you're not grabbing this opportunity with your person or the person that are very interested in your pisces scorpio cancer they're going to abandon the picture that was created for the both of you remember how you met this person okay they're going to abandon this we have the death guard here so if they are not able to fulfill the ten of cups with you they will they will definitely go somewhere else and this could mean a regret for you pisces cancer scorpio okay so it actually doesn't dictate what you do but i mean you have your own free will so if you're not willing to participate in this partnership with this person particular person that is very much burdened with you okay they do um they wouldn't feel the ten of ones here the burden the pressure if you are not important with them you're if you are not important for them so this is the ten of cups they give you value and they do they do love you so much here with the ten of cups and they desire this harmonious relationship with you for the rest of their lives you know they're they're not the player type but i feel like they're transitioning somewhere else probably they're changing their minds about this because of the burden that they feel when they were connected with you that's how they feel right now okay so let's go to the channel messages 
The channel message messages is also available on the Etsy shop. If you want to get a reading regarding um, the channel messages from your person, check out my Etsy shop on the description box below. Okay. And it's actually my bestseller, so it has six cards for you guys, and I'm channeling the energy of your person. Just give me the details, chat me on my Etsy shop messenger all right so let's see what's going on so the child message since this is general reading okay um it could be coming from you or coming from your person so it really depends on how it resonates with you okay guys um the bottom of the deck <laughs> we may be in separation but i am always thinking of you so it's actually not included but i wanna wanna read it so here i feel burdened by all these expectations of me so there's a lot of expectation yeah there's a burden that's happening in their lives i don't know if you feel the same as i do okay so don't have any idea but there is a divine timing here that's happening so the timeline will definitely change everything if you happen to meet this person at a very wrong time that you are not successful you are not settled yet definitely that's a very wrong time of meeting them but it actually occurred in your life they actually occurred in your life for a very good reason okay because their presence in your life or the connection that you have with this person is actually has a ripple effect in the future because you gotta trust the divine timing here if they do had an impact in your life like a significant impact in your life they kind of change the perspective of yours or something definitely in the future they will have a ripple effect in your life okay so we have here you are my everything see this is what i'm talking about this is how they feel for you the ten of cups okay all right so this is your reading pisces cancer scorpio i hope you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you next time love and light namaste